How's your week? Rough, bro. <laughs> bro, it's been nuts, bro. I don't know what it is. I feel like patients are just getting sicker and sicker constantly every single day. I, I just feel like they're just not happy. And, and when they're not happy, they feel depressed. When they feel depressed, it just, they want to take it out on somebody. Yeah. But they're older and I feel bad. Anytime a patient like explodes, I'm always like, I'm just imagining if I'm 82 years old and I have pain everywhere and my kids are not here and no one's around, it's like, I feel yeah. bad for them. Like, yeah, I know. Like, I understand their crankiness because I'm just, I try to put myself in their position and I, yeah. I always do better when that happens. Like yeah. somebody will come in like, I hate it understand where they're coming from i think well first of all stephen holt welcome welcome thank you man. thank you thank the you. one and only uh for for everybody that's watching stephen holt is a um nurse practitioner currently works in the er uh what do you know what hospital i, I work over at bayonet point nice, dude nice. and that's, that's a trauma too right yeah, yeah, yeah. Trauma i do hospital. feel like trauma hospitals are way different like yeah, when you say are. i work they in are. the er if you're not in a trauma hospital you cannot compare it to a trauma hospital like so I, I had Steven, um, he's actually one of, was one of my students uh, when he was in school. Yes. Uh, him and his yes. wife, Michelle Holt, who is a really good friend of mine also. And um, before we continue and start this awesome podcast, I think you should kind of introduce yourself a little bit. Tell us about yourself, where you're from, what you love about medicine, why you chose the ER, first of all, because I yeah. mean, that's kind of crazy, especially at a trauma two hospital, right? Yeah. So yeah. go ahead, Mike's all yours. Yeah. So yeah, I'm a nurse practitioner. I just came. I just got. Uh, just became a nurse practitioner. I think back in last August. Yeah. So I went to University of Tampa uh, for that. Uh, and prior to that, you know, I was a uh, registered nurse over at Bayonet Point in their ER for about five, about five, six years. So you know everyone in there. Yeah, he knows everyone. Well, uh, yes and no. So I, <laughs> so I, I was. I was a, a, a nurse. For five to six years, but then I, you know, when COVID hit, uh, you know, I started to travel, and so I did that for about a year. A lot of people did that travel yeah. during well, COVID. Uh, honestly, it just it made sense. I mean, uh, financially, it made sense. Uh, they so, were paying a lot during yeah, that they time. Were, they were paying a lot, if yeah. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, so, no, no, yeah, I yeah. heard a lot so, of. I know a lot of my nurse friends were making yeah. more money than doctors. Yeah. Honestly, like yeah. they were making great money. Yeah, it was honestly, uh, if I'm going to be honest, it was a shame because I, at the same time, you know, I was going through nurse practitioner school, and so obviously that devoted a ton of time. Uh, so I wasn't able to work as much. So, uh, but nevertheless, uh, you know, uh, you know, my nursing, yeah, my nursing career, uh, you know, was entirely at Bayonet and it's been very good, uh, very good to me. So, uh, do you regret switching from nurse with like 12 hour shifts, three days a week? Because every single nurse practitioner I've talked to says, I really wish I just have my old schedule of three twelves and yeah. have four days off. And like, do you regret it? Because I feel like there wasn't that much of a jump in like pay right like is there like well so so if i'm so the reality is like as so in the er our schedules so yeah as a nurse as just a regular rn you all yeah you're right you work only three 12 hour shifts but so you're off four days yes and it's it's wonderful Don't like, yeah. there's no yeah, nurse pick, practitioner but that they gets pick up days. some shifts too yes. but this guy's a little bit different bro so he'll tell you a little bit now because he's also works for the fire department too so oh, this yes. guy's like multitasking yes. jobs and kids yes. and a wife and i mean yes. he's hustling and yeah. imagine going through you school. like that adrenaline rush don't I do. you that's I do. why and that's what got me into it junkie. there you go he's an that's, adrenaline yes. junkie yeah Yes. <laughs> so, but if I'm going to answer your, 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 your first question, the reality is my schedule, as far as a nurse practitioner in the ER, the reality is, is we, we work anywhere from nine to 12 hours, depending on the day. And so the reality is, you know, if you're full time or if you're just, you know, uh, on contract to do a certain amount of hours a month, you really only work three or four times a week to, uh, you know, as, as a nurse but that's practitioner. that's an ER, not outpatient. And, and that's as an ER. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so that's where I kind of, yeah. So when you talk about our schedule, my schedule as far as being a nurse practitioner versus an RN in the ER, it really didn't change much. Yeah. Okay. So, but yes, I, I, I also work for the fire department. I'm captain with the fire department as well. And I've been with them for about 10 years. And uh, you that's- You do both? I yeah, do you both. both. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Imagine. Yeah. That, so I, that has to be hard, man. Uh, it, it's a lot. So, <laughs> but you know what? Though? I, I hear like, about I feel it all like the if time. If, I feel like <laughs> if you're gonna ever do it, do it yeah. while you're young. Yeah, because it, it would get a lot harder if you're older to try to do both and juggle all that together. You know what? Though I, I enjoy it. Like I, I truly, yeah, you I do. enjoy it. Like he likes trauma too. Yeah. He likes blood. He likes procedures. Yeah. Um, but. This whole thing, like you and Michelle kind of went different routes. I mean, we Michelle did. was kind of like, you know what? Let me go into more into the primary care. Um, are you not, I mean, 
because you are an adrenaline junkie, I'm assuming yeah. you liked a little bit of more action, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, I, I like critical care. Yeah, yeah. Primary, you know, primary was great. And I, I love doing, I love my, doing my rotations. <laughs> with you. I, I did. did. It, it was, it Me was too. awesome. I learned a ton. Like, um, but the reality is like my, my heart is in critical care. You like, like that rush. Yeah. Like they're dying right now. Fix it. Yeah. I, I and that's what I like about the, the fire department. That's what I like about yeah. the nurse practitioner. Like in the ER, like it's just, it's, it's good. Have you ever me. done trauma rotations anywhere else? Because let me tell you, like Bayonet is great. Yes. But I did a trauma rotation at Cook County and yeah. LSU in downtown New Orleans. Yeah. And you'll never see crazier cases than you do in those two oh, places. I bet. And I can believe that. Yeah. Like we had we had a guy that came in with a machete all the way through. Yeah. We had another yeah. guy that um was being chased by cops and swallowed twenty six bags of heroin, <laughs> ran off, was getting chased by cops, ran off. Hit a stop sign. Stop sign. Hit his stomach, and yeah. the bags opened up. Ruptured. We've yeah. had like the craziest. Ooh. I had a guy with his arm chopped off, holding it basically. Yeah. Like we've had <laughs> crazy cases, and I I understand what you're saying because that feeling of trauma, there's nothing like it. Yeah. yeah. Like that's when you feel like this is what's badass about medicine. Yeah. And yeah. you like feel that rush when you go home. You feel accomplished. Yeah. Well, I think I think. You know, everybody kind of gets, well, if you're in the critical care side, everybody likes the whole, you know, innovating, you know, yeah. doing, doing the chest tubes, yeah. you know, yep. that, that's, that's, that's what everybody, you know, the you earaches are, yeah. yeah, the earaches are good, I guess, but, yeah. but yeah. everybody wants to innovate, you know, like yeah. I, I, the reality is the ER for me, like doing, you know, I, now again, I, I see the less acute patients, uh, just because my role as, yeah, a, as a mid level, as a practitioner, but still, I do still see, still see higher it. acuity yeah. patients yeah. than I would ever see in the primary care yeah. aspect. So, yeah, uh, I, I what enjoy do you, it. what do you feel about patients that say, I want to see the doctor, not the nurse practitioner? You know, You're honest. Uh, yeah. And I, and I do feel like all of our followers like deal with this yeah. because we do have a lot of nurses, nurse practitioners. Yeah. What do you feel like? What is it? Does it bother you? Does it not bother you? You, you want me to be honest with you? Yeah. I have yet to run into that. That's amazing. Oh, That's because you're, you're a great he provider. That's because you're a great provider. He really is. But he's really that good. That makes Honestly. a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. I always tell like when, when my nurse practitioner got hired, I said, if you are paranoid about being a nurse practitioner, you should have never been a nurse practitioner. Number yeah. one, if you go in there with confidence, to be honest with you, like I don't see a difference between the doctor and nurse practitioner when the nurse practitioner is confident and doesn't hold that. Like they're just hold, too many of them hold on to it. Like, well, he was rude to me because yeah. I'm a nurse practitioner or he didn't listen to me. Yeah. No, if no. you're confident and you're a good provider, yeah. I really don't I, think they care. And if they trust you, right? You got to yeah. build that it's, connection. Yeah, I, I think it's how you approach it. It, yeah. like, it really you, is. You, it's how you approach them. Yeah. If, and I, I hate to say this, but I think that the reality, and, and we should do this with everybody, but you got to kill them with kindness. Yeah, yeah, you, you I agree. Walk in there if you walk in there, and you you know you're you're kind to them, and you walk in there like, uh, you you're, you're competent. Confident. Your job. Yeah, if you're confident. Yeah. I mean, I think that's really what. Uh, yeah. I, I I don't know. How's, and also, know. how's the University of Tampa? Uh, you know what? Honestly, I think it's one of the best programs. I agree with you. I hear that a I lot. I hear yeah. that a lot. Yeah. It, it's good, uh, but it's an in-person program. Mm -hmm. Um, it's way better than online. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of online programs. I never understand online. And a lot of them are really not prepared, man. I've had a lot of stu students throughout the last couple of years. And, and you can tell the difference between like the in-person programs versus online programs, just the conference itself uh, and the knowledge, right? The yeah. knowledge is very important. I So I'm a big believer in hands-on, right? Yeah. Yeah, hands-on is probably the best type of rotations you can get. There are some rotations, you remember, where you'll, you'll, you're you'll rounding with attendings that you just sit there and you kind of just listen. You really yeah. don't do anything. And that's why I feel like you really want to learn your medicine well you got to get your hands dirty right and that's what's good about you. you did a lot of did you do an er rotation when you were um you know i never got an opportunity to actually do an er rotation i had to i ended up doing an urgent care rotation okay okay good. uh so that was good i because of the uh legality issues at the time i wasn't able to actually get into the er gotcha uh so really i had to you know my experience prior you know you know doing the five or five six years whatever it ended up being you know as a nurse, that really excel, you know, helped me excel. Because you went to school for a today. long time. I mean, yeah, yeah. to yeah. just be a nurse takes a yeah. long time, and yeah. then do a nurse practitioner takes a long yeah. time, and kind of just keep going. It takes, yeah. and it what, is very yeah. hard. And that's why I respect you guys so yeah. much. Yeah. What uh, was the hardest part out of 
since starting this kind of journey into like as a nurse, as a nurse practitioner, what was like a point in your life where you were like, God, am I doing the right thing? <laughs> like, you know, you I, know I, and I, I know Michelle thought about yeah. that a lot of times. I remember Michelle was telling me, just like, God, yeah. we, I mean, I got to go study. I got to go take a test. And she's working and yeah. the kids, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, and Michelle's my wife. I don't, I don't know if we actually mentioned that yet, but yeah. Yeah. yeah we, so she, uh, the. The, the reality is the hardest part of all of this, what, you know, the entire journey, it was just the juggling act. You know, I got a two-year-old at home yeah. and I love that kid to death. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, cute, yeah, he, so yeah, cool. adorable. So I, I love it. And, but, you know, it's a constant juggling act between, you know, trying to spend time with my wife, between my kids. Uh, you know, I also, our, our, our older son, he's 13 now, like, uh, you know, now he's in baseball. Like it was just. And then we're still, I still full-time at the fire department, you know, and I work 240 hours a month at the fire department, you know, so, uh, and that was not be able to, I couldn't put that on hold. Yeah. yeah, So it was just a constant con. I mean, I guess in reality today, it's still a constant juggle. uh, Do you like being a firefighter? Which one do you like better? (sighs) He likes both. That's actually really hard. Yeah. (laughs) I I, I do. I, I like. If you had to choose right one right now, you have three seconds, three. Uh, I mean, Two. okay. So if I Four. truly had to, if I really truly had to, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. You're smart because I can't if do those it. guys are watching it and you see, yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. You're right. You're you right. You're right. You're right. You're right. So good decision. Squash it. Squash it. Squash it. But truly, you know, it's, it's both, you know, because when I'm at the fire department, it's like, I hate to say it, but it's, it's, it's really a fraternity, you know, and I get to go do some of the cool I get to do, I get to help people. And the reality is the things that I do is high adrenaline, like things that people don't get to do every day. You know what I'm saying? Like how how many people are going to put on sirens and, you know, race down the road and then go put out, put out a house fire. Like I I get to do that. 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 Question for you. Why in movies do they make firefighters look like they just play ping pong and slide up and down? (laughs) (laughs) Because like, do they do that though? Like, is it just movies where firefighters are just, you know, playing, playing cards, pong, watching games, playing <laughs> watching cards, a football then, game? No. But, no. That's Hollywood. Literally, That's Hollywood, yeah. Hollywood has sure. made you guys look like yeah, you oh, I'm sit sure. there all I'm day. Sure. Yeah, we, we don't do that. Yeah. 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 Now, Grant, now, don't get me wrong. Like, there are periods of time that, you know, we do sit down for dinner and we do sit down for breakfast and, yeah. uh, you know. Uh, you know, during the day, like if we have some downtime, like, trust me, we, we do sit down. Like we do try to, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll, we will play ping pong. If there's a ping pong table, we'll, we'll, play. Play. Yeah, yeah, we'll, not? we'll definitely not? play. Like, if there's a fire, that's a problem. Yeah. You got a ping pong table. I got it's heated. Yeah. We got to finish it. We got <laughs> people, two rounds left. Yeah. People just don't realize though, how busy we are, you know, on any given day, you know, I, I, I'll run, you know, I can run, you know, anywhere from 10 to 20 calls in a 24 hour period. That's a lot. Yeah, that's you a lot. know, and, and every call is, you know, 30 to an hour, yeah. you know? So is there paperwork behind it? Oh yeah. 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 Like, absolutely. I mean, like is notes. There, is there, there a lot of yeah. there folks that call and then they think it's a problem when there's really not a problem? Or they yes. fell or they can't get up? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I oh, bet yeah. you get tons of those, right? Like, doesn't uh, my that husband, co- doesn't that cost money though? Like to just go and take yeah. the fire truck and take all yeah. these employees to go down for somebody that just fell. Yeah. Why, why is it that fire departments, this, I feel like this is a very important question. If I called patient has chest pain, why is it that the fire department, no offense, yeah. I, I don't know what, yeah. what is the fire truck doing there? So we're all cross trained okay. uh, as far as the fire department goes. Like, uh, so firefighters are also EMTs yeah. within the state of Florida at least, okay. yeah. and as, uh, at least my department, we're all cross trained. So we're firefighters and then we're also EMTs or paramedics. So essentially the fire truck will go with the ambulance or the rescue, uh, uh, same thing. Um, mean the same thing, but we'll we'll go because the reality is if they are having a heart attack, uh, you know, just having two people on scene may not be enough, you know, yeah. es- especially, you know, if they're, you know, circling the drain, you know, uh, or if we have to, you know, if they go into cardiac arrest, you know, there's no, there's no way we can't do chest compressions, innovate, push drugs, you know, and you know, document, get all the information. It's just, it's not possible. Why, to why don't they have, I know I've seen fire departments have like, um, expeditions and stuff like that. Yes. Why take the whole truck mm-hmm. or to a, I think, bro, I think it's heart protocol. Heart I swear. I'm, I'm not assuming it's protocol. I'm just yeah, trying no, to I understand what, yeah. like, what would a big fire truck do if somebody's having a heart attack? 
Yeah, I'm so, not being yeah. rude. I'm serious. I, really I don't, don't think know, you are, man. A lot of people ask me this. They're yeah, like, no, I don't think you The lady will come are. out and be like, why is there a huge truck out yeah, there? Like, yeah, yeah. So the ambulance, typically the ambulance is staffed with two people. Okay. The, the engines are typically, typically staffed with three to four. Okay. So mm -hmm. if we both come, you're essentially talking, you're t essentially talking anywhere, you know, from five to seven people, if I did my math correct. I have. No, no, I don't think I even so, did my math correct. No, well, you don't need. I'm math not. Yeah, I'm not a mathematician. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Unless you're calculating medication, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, it doesn't so, matter. So, but the reality. So, there's typically three or four people on the engine with two on the on two on the on the rescue. So, you know that. Uh, you know, so we got six people there. So the reality is, if it was only an expedition that came, you would have a driver. You yeah. know, that drove the the car. Yeah. And then yeah. maybe another person. But now somebody still has to drive the expedition back. Right. Yeah. So now all you gave was one extra person. Yeah. You know, so now all you have is three people. Yeah. So three people. Great. But you have to do chest compressions. Somebody has to breathe. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Somebody has to push the drugs and yep. somebody still has to hand you all the medicine. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. No, I, I now, get it. I get and it. they still got a now. document. Like, yeah. yeah. You, you don't have enough. You don't have enough. Like yeah. the, the equipment that we, uh, ironic, uh, believe it or not, the equip, ev all the equipment that we have on the ambulance is also on the fire truck. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Okay. So, so is it basically just to have more people in the medical field it's kind of there. just in yeah. case kind yeah, of just in case. so like you said one person's driving the expedition but one person's driving the fire truck yes. why not just take like why waste gas and bring that truck and block the area i'm not being rude. Yeah, it's no, usually no, the captain you, typically don't understand. right that's well, in well, a why lot can't of these you cars. put the captain in the expedition and just go you i mean unless it's a fire we're gonna get yeah, so much backlash yeah. no, no 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 i, I hear Listen, what you're these saying are important yeah. questions yeah, I, 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 yeah. and i'm not asking that i'm genuinely curious just so why. if you had an expedition okay if let's play out your scenario yes. if we had an expedition let's say we put three people in the expedition that's yes. great but now we go to the medical call but two seconds later, the tones drop for a, fi a house fire. Yeah. Great. Oh, okay. Where's the fire truck? Yeah. Oh, well, now okay, we got to okay. go back to the fire okay, station. There you go. Yeah. That explains. Yeah. That makes and, sense. And, that you know what I'm saying? That, that's and what now I'm there's a for. delay in, in care. Yeah. You know? yeah. Okay. Makes or sense. not care in that you know but delay like, yeah, putting out the exactly. fire. Yeah. Exactly. Time is everything. Yeah. It's a time. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Really. Any any um, with your experience, have you had any bad experiences with doctors at the hospital? Are there any scenarios where you kind of run into a situation where? You're like, yeah, I think this treatment is better or, well, the doctor will change it. And an argument, any arguments or, I mean, I don't yeah. know if you ran into that situation before, but is this something that you kind of, you know. You know, I, I'm very fortunate with the doctors that I work with. They are very experienced and I have a very good relationship with them. And honestly, like, like I was saying earlier to you guys, you know, off, off camera, the reality yeah. is. Uh, these are some of the best doctors I've worked with. I've worked in a lot of hospitals yeah. at this point, uh, and I, you know, with the traveling, yeah. And I can tell you that these are some of the best doctors I've, I've worked with. And I'm not just blowing smoke, yeah. Uh, like uh, truly, like they really are. <laughs> and you got a, a favorite, yeah. And and you know, the reality is, I, yeah, it, it is like it. So if I can't say that I've really come into a circumstance where I've you know felt so heartedly like. This is this is not the right approach. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're uh, and, and thankfully, you know, and yeah. uh, you know, there have been times where maybe I wanted to go this direction, but they went, you know, yeah, they were like, "Listen." Yeah. But the reality is, they also come with a lot more experience. Yeah, yeah let's just be honest. Communicate. Like, yeah, they, I, yeah. I always say like when I when I talk to like the nurse practitioner, the way I treat them is like, imagine you're on a basketball team, right? Yeah. And your center shoots a three and misses the three. Yeah. Are you gonna go embarrass your center and say, "What the hell are you doing?" No, yeah. exactly. Go scream at yeah. him. No, we're like, yeah. "Hey, good shot. Don't worry about yeah. it." The same thing with a nurse practitioner. Like, if you're gonna correct them, yeah. don't correct them in front of the patients yeah. because yeah. that's how they slowly take their confidence. Oh, definitely, away. definitely. Talk about it. Yeah. And the nurse practitioner doesn't yeah. always have to say, "Well, I'm gonna talk to the doctor about it." Yeah. I'm gonna talk. No, give your management. Then yeah. go out there, yeah. communicate together. That's yeah. what I always say to my, like the people I work with. Yeah. It doesn't have to be me listening to you giving a plan. No, we talk. Put both our brains together and come up with what's best for and the patient. And you know what? That, that truly, that's really how it works in the ER. Like, uh, you know, I I will go assess the patient. I come up with the management. I will go back, and I can start it. If I have a question, if there, you know, if I have a yep. question, I just ask my attending. Yeah, and, and and can, it's as simple as that. Yeah. And it's you can lean on each other too. Yeah. You got to be able to lean on yeah. each other and trust each other. Absolutely. And, and, and there's been several times it. where they've asked me questions. I can ask them questions. And, yeah. and like you said, it's just a team approach. I, like that's awesome. There's man. a lot of respect. Uh, and, uh, it, it, at least in my ER, yeah. it, it's a good, it's a good well, relationship. Well, uh, Before we go, I wanted okay. to ask another question. If you can give some advice to nurses that are struggling in the hospital, stressed out saying, I hate my job and want to switch over to being a nurse practitioner. 
at that camera, yeah. give them some advice. Yeah. And is it worth it going back to school? Because this is the most yeah. important question yeah. to ever answer yeah. on that camera. Yeah. Right yeah. There. Look at it right there. Uh, so, see. so if I'm going to be honest with you, if you hate working in the hospital and you don't like being a nurse, the reality is I do not think being a nurse practitioner is the right move for you. Uh, because the reality is that we are still, we, uh, again, it's still very much a team approach and uh, we are still, we're still doing a lot of the, we're, it's still the same job. We're still helping them. Uh, we're still, you know, like, I, I guess the reality is it, my simple answer is no. Like, I, I don't think it's worth it. Everyone's I just don't. telling me that. I just to don't. Be honest with you. Everyone yeah. says that. You have to, you have to Unless you're going enjoy outpatient. it. Yeah. That's yeah. why everybody but says it. But you know what? Outpatient. Even outpatient though, like when I did my rotations with you, yeah. like the job, it's still charting. Yep. You still got to go in there. You got to go in with, a, a, yep. it, with it, you know, with an attitude of, listen, I'm here to help you. Like, yeah. I think the reality is that people get, are burned because there's, it, it, are burned right now because they feel like they're a waiter at a restaurant. Yeah. Because the reality is healthcare is changing. Yeah, yeah. it you is. Know, yeah. It, it definitely is. Like, and most people think that they're a nurse. I'm going to be a nurse practitioner and I'm going to have that power. And yeah. then they get it, there yeah. and it's not what you thought it was. You it's actually not. had more power in the hospital because believe it or not, that whole hospital is run by the nurse. Yeah. Yeah. I could, I, I depend I'm you, on I would the nurse. not have survived residency. Yeah. Without the nurses, yeah. I would not be a doctor who I am today no. without yeah. the nurses. The, the nurses they change make my or life. break you. They literally yeah. make they or do. break you. They do. And yeah. without them, you don't know yeah. how much the ins I'm are getting goosebumps. No, yeah, it's not just from you saying it's, really it's, it's true, I'm man. Telling like, you, I it's always true. say that. I did yeah, an interview not really, too long ago. Yeah. And I literally, they said, what is the one group of people that helped you more than anything? And it's the nurses in the hospital. They were much smarter than me when I first started as an intern. And I accepted that. And I accepted what they can teach me. Well, you know, they're just there with the patient. They like that. They're there with the patient. They're the one that's treating the patient. They're actually the ones that treating the patients. We really, honestly, we probably get 10% of the actual care. Yeah. You know, so they're huge. Anyway. All right. So thank you so much, Steven. Yeah, man. We had a blast. Thank you, man. Dude, definitely. awesome. Yeah, dude, definitely. You are fantastic. I will see you soon. Yeah, definitely. All right. Take care, guys. Thanks. Thanks.